Hi people, how you doing? Welcome, episode 24, take 2 of my season 3 let's play. Yes, you guessed it right. I again uh, recorded a lot of footage bef uh, before realizing I had my microphone turned off. Shame on me, really. Uh, well, what did I did before? Okay, I remove the EMC generator from here and uh, tried to, uh, well, cool a lot of my hairs. Yeah, for now they didn't seem to have a ninja reproduce. And you can see I crafted several copies of those um, EMC generators in here. Uh, in fact, I believe it's la uh, this, the other one had been running for five hours, six. Oh well, I don't know. Anyway, the, uh, this one has been turned on uh, recently, and they still has have no real amount of bone meal, and, and until the system is uh, full, they won't be producing diamonds. They need uh, a while to 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 heat up. Also, you might realize uh, they are independent uh, units. There are like six units. And that's because they essentially work better this way. While there's only one clock power in the system, uh, all six uh, units are completely independent of them, aside from the tickings of the clock. Because, uh, well, before I tried a very complicated uh, setup with a sorting machine. You can see here there are colors and the uh, inputs. And essentially that's because, well, I try to make this system work with just one set of uh, condensers and it didn't really work. In the end the speed, the production speed was the same as a single cell, single generator. So I rearranged everything. Oh dear. A lot of uh, work to do there. Uh, other stuff I did make, <clears throat> and this one I am sorry because you didn't uh, saw it on footage, it was regarding my automatic system. I essentially, with the microphone off and talking to myself, went up here, and let's see if we can get it. Yes, and crafted all these automations without realizing I was stuck into the air. Okay, so what we we had here was essentially wood to wooden planks, wooden planks to sticks, sticks to redstone torches, wooden gears, all the basic vanilla gears essentially, <coughs> uh, diamond transport pipe, the logistic pipes basics, the chassis mark two because I use use it a lot, fertilizer, humus. Bookshelves, books, paper, blank modules, gold nuggets, crafting table, rose red, polymorphic item sink, automatic crafting table, dandelion yellow, orange dye, and the provider module. Essentially, all I need to <coughs> uh, craft automatically with only a click of my mouse everything I need to expand my sorting system. You can see I also place more chests in the ground and if we go down here you can see I removed all the system I had in place here. Instead you can see I place uh, all are the same essentially they all have they all have one provider module programmed to leave one item per stack and one polymorphic item sync module. Uh, but for this last one, which has an item sync module with, uh, which states it, it is the default root and the provider module. And what else? Here we have a quick sorts module and an extractor mark 2 module. 
the Mark 1 will take one item per five seconds, the Mark 2 will take one, it one item per second. <coughs> I also have here an extractor program to take items from the side and item sync with all the ores, nine, all the nine ores I have in this game. Uh, here I am I have the same setup so but instead of the ores there's the dust and basalt and here we can see the structure only will sink rubber wood and sticky resin this is a project table and when I am when I, well and another thing I crafted was this uh, remote order yes and you, as you can see I had a lot of diamonds the remote order allows me to ask for items to be crafted and delivered in here or take items from the supply. You can see I have uh, quite a rest power to stuff. Also, let me grab some smooth stone, which I, if I don't remember wrong should be around here, yeah. I realized I had here some little failure, or maybe not, yes, yes I did. I didn't really need this one to be here, and since I placed this in here, I also don't need this cabling to be here, and uh, the one nearby, this one in here. Essentially that's because uh, rest power to machines act uh, like, like cable among themselves. So all of them will share their internal oops, their internal uh, system. You can see I also added four blue electric alloy furnaces. That's because well I was uh, crafting items like a madman and well I got carried away a little and essentially that those are all the updates uh, that uh, I can think of. I didn't advance uh, that much with beekeeping. Ah, of course, I did um, move my crafting table. Oh, and I am recharging my lap pack. I want to have uh, to mine a lot also. Uh, there's a skeleton in here. Die, you moron. And I was going to grab my jetpack, which should be around here somewhere. Yeah, when you have so many stuff, it's hard to remember what do you really have. I also made some uh, small minor change in here. Essentially, I moved, as you can see here, this cauldron outside. That's because uh, the cauldron emits light, so it was uh, quite ri uh, ruining the purpose of the dark room in there. I also, as you can see, moved and expand my quarry using uh, these items, the landmark. Landmarks are crafted with lapis lazuli and redstone torch, and they can be used to with well with three you can mark. Uh, well, let's place it in here, for example. With this three, for example, uh, if we we and we can see it if we add uh, some red some redstone electricity. Well, you can see they project their lines, and if I hit it. It, they will connect and form a square. If you place a quarry by here or here, essentially next to one of these, but don't do it uh, inside of the red uh, lining because then, well, the quarry will drop itself. Well, uh, what, what will happen is that the quarry will cover the defined area. That's why it is so uh, big in here. Also, uh, crystals are can be mined by quarry, or at least I found sometimes uh, my quarry had uh, mined some crystals. I don't know the reason, but it seems to have done that. 
Finally, I, as you can see, I placed in the end four um, chunk loading blocks because, well, it was the only way to cover all the size of my quarry. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, <clears throat> I had tried to place a single one on top of the quarry and it didn't work. I suppose that only works if you if you have a, a standard quarry without the use of landmarks to expand its uh, area of, of working. <clears throat> and what else? Oh yes, you can see I place uh, water there. I had completely forgotten about that, but well, you can see I already take took care of that. There was uh, lava on the on the bottom and that blocks the drill to keep going. However, I believe I, we weren't so far from bedrock, so I did I go, went ahead and removed the quarry from there. What else can I tell you now? So, essentially, hmm. um well, my uh, this farm keeps going rather well. Uh, so I, was, I think I will make a small chi change in the system by uh, placing an auto automatic crafting table down down there, because essentially I don't have my, much use for sugarcane, but uh, for making books. And one of the good things of buildcraft is that you can use it to craft uh, stuff stuff automatically, uh, continuously without uh, any stop. Oh, and let me grab some of more of these crystals. Yeah, you can see the aura down here is uh, quite quite bad. I think I overmined, well, overmined not. I think I made a too big uh, farm for this system. Of course, I can take a uh, I can place more tainted crystals and try to drain the taint instead of only the aura and see what happens. We might be lucky. And I plan to craft a crystallizer in order to recharge uh, my depleted crystals using that, uh, that beast source out there. But uh, for now, let's uh, craft some crafting tables. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I only need three automatic crafting tables. So let's grab our remote order. Let's go in here and say, hey, I want... What do I want? Let me think for a second. Well, and if we cannot find it, which is rather useful for me at least... Oh, there. There we are. Give me three of those, and I'm going ahead and I'm going to add uh, something else to the system. Okay, for some reason, here in the miscellaneous junk seems to be some copper ore that should go straight to be yes. Of course, um, there is a small problem with using the automatic system I told you before. Let me find the branch. By placing an extractor instead of just a quick sort module, we are essentially taking out a lot of items that uh, if they don't have anywhere to go, well, they will uh, try to go there and sometimes the quick extractor module will extract items that it should not, like ores and the like. For some reason, those ores uh, won't follow the item sync module even when they are in here. And the, well, the provider, I suppose, has no kind of priority. So I suppose the structure should have another option that lets you say if uh, extract only items to a default route. But uh, oh well, what can we do about that? And let me place here all this stuff. Okay, so now we have three automatic crafting tables, and I'm going to ask 
craft me uh, two wooden gears give me a piece of glass do I have crafted pistons? I should but anyway I believe I am going to ask for four of these and Hmm. Well, two of these, <clears throat> and so I'm going to need uh, a piece of redstone. Yeah, or two. <clears throat> okay. Uh, now with this, I should be able to to craft. Uh, do I need? A, I I think I will. I believe I need a piece of iron. And let's go upstairs. <coughs> yes, I know I should ga uh, gather all these items. Okay, what I am going to do here is first uh, tell the system how to craft a um, piston, hopefully. If I remember right. Yeah, I do. So let's graph ourselves the crafting logistic pipe which is uh, made like so, with a basic logistic pipe and two glowstone dust. We placed it in here, we hit it with the wrench, and we hit import. Now, this is a rather important part of logistic pipes. <coughs> the mod uh, essentially offers you the possibility of, automati uh, of automating all the crafting processes. If you have watched my first season uh, of Let's Play, you might remember I had a rather big house with, uh, well, a suboptimal distribution. In my second season, I had a much better distribution, and uh, since I added the crafting table too, uh, it was also, well, I didn't really need it, uh, the, the system to be that detailed. <coughs> So now I am going only for the bare basics. Anyway, now we can craft pistons in here, and one of the good things of this is I can say, hey, give me a piston. Now, ta-da! Of course, uh, there are some pistons already made, so it won't be crafting them. <coughs> but uh, right now, what I am interested in doing is, added, is to add here something that... Um, Oh, of course, I left. How oh, could I not left something behind? <coughs> Here, are the wooden gears, which was a rather relevant part of my of my idea. Yes, those of you who are familiar with Billcraft uh, are correct. I am going to craft a redstone engine again. I already showed it before in the Let's Play because I well. I didn't really show it. I showed them uh, working. Uh, redstone engines won't ever require any maintenance. They only need uh, redstone, well, as a source of redstone power. Okay, I don't need you to be working. And you can go with me. Yes, I should uh, take those uh, downstairs too. <clears throat> As I was telling you, they don't, uh, they won't explode. They won't require any fuel. They only need uh, a redstone current to start uh, working. And yes, I plan to automate uh, also the research system. Yes, the <clears throat> cobblestone from the top, with uh, uh, with the logistic pipes indicated that they need to provide to keep three stacks of 64 cobblestone here and one stack of paper here and everything here should be taken out anyway what I am planning to do is to ask first for uh, I'm going to need three redstone engines and let me grab something fancy like this <coughs> And I'm going to need some sugarcane also. 
which I don't uh, have the slightest idea where is it. Let me grab it. Very well, I hopefully grabbed all the required materi materials. <clears throat> so I am going to place this in here. I am going to place a chest in here. There we go. And here I am going to place the first part of the recipe, which is this paper. Now I am going to need, uh, you might remember from before, wooden transport pipes. Yay! There we go. A wooden transport pipe in there, another thingy in here, another thingy in here, another thingy in here. Here we are going to place the paper. And here we are going to place books and wood. Essentially this will uh, make all the... Mm, and of course there is a slight problem in here. Isn't there always... I am going to need more than one chest. I am going to place one in here, one in here and one in here. Now I am going to remove this from here or don't I... Well, yes, yeah, I prefer to do it that way. Okay, and now I am going to grab the redstone engines. Place one in here and the other in here. And I have a problem because of the corner. Now I. Oh dear. Sorry for bothering you. I will leave you to your work now. Okay, now we place this in here. And uh, rest on engine in here, not really. There we go. In there. Perfect. And now uh, we place the ch a chest. Not real neat. So what I am going to say is, uh, first I am going to craft some logistic pipes some special version of them. We go in here and say logistic. So what can we craft here? Provider logistic pipe. Glowstone dust on top of the basic logistic pipe. This is good. Oh, by the way, you go in there and you can go in there. And I don't really need you. Nor do I need you or you or you. Perfect. I was saying something about uh, glowstone, yes. And so I have uh, quite a shortage of uh, logistic pipes, so let me ask for some. Sixteen should be okay. Perfect. <clears throat> Okay, so I am going to turn. Uh, I know I can. I, don't, I can do it with only two. I need more. I am going to one, two, three. Yes, three should be enough. Mm, and let me grab some wood. Sixteen. Let me grab. Uh, no real need for anything else, really. Okay, uh, I really didn't need three of uh, provider, but oh well. I'm going to place. Yeah, this one doesn't need to be here, and this one can be just in here. Perfect. <clears throat> yeah, I just had some sort of a stupid moment. Okay, and I can just make this, perfect. <clears throat> and I can need to place here a provider pipe. Now, the provider pipes uh, work uh, in a very definite way, and I could use a chassis mark 1 with a provider module, but I don't want to. No, no, I didn't want to provider pipe. I always mistake them. It's a supplier then, I suppose. Yeah, supplier. Two lapis. See, I always do this wrong. I always, uh, well, mess them together. Oh well, at least it's not like I crafted three of these. I mean, oh, not stone. Regular. 
Perfect. <clears throat> okay, and if I place this in here and whack it with the wrench, items to keep stoked. Okay. I want you to keep stoked always a stack of wood. And let's place it in here for now. Now we need to co to connect the system to the rest of the um, of here, like this. And here, <coughs> I am going to place a basic logistic pipe, which will be the default rest destination of. Uh, let me see where they are. They should be around. There we go. Sugar canes. Requested items, sugar canes, always. All sugar canes should go in here. Now I am going to place here a lever and here another lever. However, this one needs to go somewhere. Like. Oh dear. Like here, I suppose. Sorry. <clears throat> mm. No real problem, since nothing will go there. Okay, there we go. Now, what I need to do is to take all the uh, super cane that is already here. There we go. And I'm going to place it <coughs> into the default distribution system here. And now we should see it, yeah, coming here. It is being turned automatically into paper, which is in turn turned into books. The books are, with the help of the wooden planks, uh, being turned into bookshelves. And we see how the provider pipe, suppli uh, supplier, what? Which one was it? Oh dear. The supplier pipe is uh, calling for more wooden planks all the time. So that's essentially uh, an automated system to turn all the sugarcane that keeps that gets inside my system into bookshelves, which is what what I use. Now. <clears throat> I am going to make a small change in here, and you will see why. I'm going to grab, uh, yeah, a golden transport pipe. You might remember these babies from, well, from other moments. There we go. And now we should see much more speed. Okay, the library gets out. Yeah, and speed we go. And it goes here with the rest. Perfect. Now, of course, I have the problem of not get, uh, getting any paper on the bookshelves directly. But if I want to stop that, I can always uh, hit this, uh, this in here or place a, a piece of sugarcane upstairs. In fact, I am going to grab myself one piece of sugarcane and store it upstairs, not inside any of these chests, because it would be it would have priority, but inside this chest in here where I store it, all my miscellaneous useful strange values. Now we sort this a little and time to sleep. And while it has been a little eccentric, uh, we are up to the mark of the 30 minutes uh, episode. So I believe this is a good wrapping up point. Let me check how this... Uh, and you can see the boots behave a little randomly so close to something... Oh, perfect! We are now producing diamonds, finally. Haha. <laughs> so essentially, now this has, this has produced five, one, known. Hmm. This one has produced one, and you here? How oh, many? Another. Great. 
and finally this has produced two. I could uh, place an uh, extraction pipe or something here in this uh, diamond producing uh, condensers and make it uh, to be sent directly to my sorting machine, but uh, I don't really need it right now. Besides, I plan to substitute, to change those diamonds for dark matter, so it won't really be that much needed. And the piece of red matter we have in here, well, I plan to update these uh, collectors here to Mark III as soon as I can and uh, place a condenser surrounded by collectors and make the other gathering system I showed you in my Season 2 second half of, let, of the Let's Play which is essentially four Mark, uh, four Mark III collectors, uh, Mark III relay, an another four Mark III collectors and uh, a condenser uh, with an extractor pipe on top, all play, uh, sending all their production to a single chest. That won't be as uh, fancy as this system there, but will undoubtedly be much more resource friendly to my computer. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode. I'm sorry you uh, missed uh, parts of, uh, of it since I forgot to turn on the microphone. Shame on me, really. I, I am really sorry. And uh, hope to see you in the next episode. Bye, and thanks for watching. Have fun, people.